A Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives in these last days. To spread this truth and also on to those who are sincerely seeking this truth shalom it's the brother yaraya from the gms italia camp and i'm here with a quick one regarding the latest news so the man you see on the screen is a so-called prophet and his name is tb joshua you know he is very very famous most especially in Nigeria because he is from Nigeria and you have all different different countries all African countries I think he is one of the most influential you know fake prophets out there you know in Africa one of the most influential you know so he has this church which is very huge you know and if you watch his videos you will see him you know traveling to or he has traveled i believe all parts of the world you know he goes especially to this um to these jake countries you know like asia and you know uh, the philippines and you know where jake you know they are really deep into all this you know false miracles and stuff like that you know so well the story is you know he is dead Okay, if it is true, you know, he's dead and he died at, you know, just, you know, how old did he die? I think he's um, 56 or so, yeah. He was born in 1963, okay. And you see, this is his net worth, is 10 to 15 million US dollars, you know. That's Forbes in 2011, you know. And I just want to show you a little bit about, about, so this is one of his old videos, you know, he does all these fake miracles and, you know, Jake really loves all these things, you know, just like in the book of Bell and the Dragon, you know, the book of Bell and the Dragon, um, when, you know, these fake prophets, you know, they, they move into the, they they eat they actually feast on the sacrifices for their fake dead god which is called um bell you know and they lie to the king that you know it's bell the the, the the deity that eats this um these sacrifices then you know um daniel you know he told the king that was all lies you know anyway we're going to get that scripture so you can we can see you know, Jake actually is carried away with all these fake, false miracles and stuff like this. Let me just play the video so you can get a little, you know, understanding of what he does. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Look at the evil manifestation in the life of the man. At the mention of that name, Jesus Christ, he started unbutting his shirt. Look at him. Do you know me? Regardez votre camp, regardez la réaction de cet homme juste à la mention du nom de Jésus Christ. Il enlève ses vêtements les uns après les autres, préparant, se préparant à se battre. Watch the screen of your television. That is the manifestation of the evil spirit. Who are you? Why do you want to know me? Who are you? Why do you want to know me? In the name of Jesus Christ. I say, Allah. who are you? Allah. Speak out. Who are you? Why must you? First of all, I really just wonder how people just fall for this, for this drama that they're putting together in this place. You know, it's really, really, it's really, really, you know, very funny to me because, you know, Jake's, you know, they believe, they so believe all this drama that they act and, you know, and first of all the man calls the name of you know the renaissance the renaissance fake prophet which is um jesus you know and we know that's a false name we know that's not the true name of the son of the most high so we know he's not 
doing all these things by the true power of the most high you know and you see all these people all around you know they work for him and you can see especially this lady she's been positioning herself like expecting something and how come this man is you know is my is you know he's manifesting his evil spirit and all sorts stuff stuffs like that but he hasn't even grabbed this woman yet you know and she can freely put the microphone in his mouth you know there is a lot if we want to analyze this video and this is just one of the many many videos you know there are lots of ridiculous things you know this is just one of the many many videos let's keep watching you know in the name of jesus christ where are you coming from nowhere what have you done to him hmm. i made her not to go to school hmm? i make her not to know book why hmm. for how long you are tormenting him <laughs> for how long <laughs> come on this day for my mouth I, I will bite your nose. Look here and speak up in the name of Jesus. For how long? For how long you are tormenting him? <laughs> I, said, Come on, I will bite your nose. Look here. For how long you are tormenting him? Since when he was small. I'll just move it forward because this is just, you know, hilarious. Let's see. I want to see. I want to see his, his acting, you know, he does things, you know, in funny ways, you know. So let's see from here if there is something, you know. Ow! Oh, the devil! The mighty devil just fire in the devil just Christ! Come out! You demon! Out! In the name of Jesus. You demon, unclean spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus Christ, on your knees. I say on your knee in the name of Jesus Christ. On your knee! On your knee! Out in the name of Jesus Christ! Out in the name of Jesus Christ! At the name of Jesus Christ, every knee must bow. Come here, you demon. Look here in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Watch the screen of your television. See what is happening now as the Holy Spirit takes control. The evil spirit within this man is bowing and submitting to the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Gloria a Dios. Praise the Lord. The hombre, the the and this is a so-called deliverance service, you know. I wonder how people are so blind and they're just sitting right here and, you know, they're digesting all these things. You know, the reason why I'm showing you this is because, you know, as I said, the man is dead. You know, they actually said he's dead. Let's see. So you see, you see, they said he's dead on the 5th of June, it's 2021, okay? So he died a couple of days ago, you know? So you, you they can also, it's also been confirmed there, but you know, this man is really, there is something really tricky about him, you know? He might be trying to, you know, pull out another one and forge his death and later, you know, they'll say, they will say that he rose up from the dead and you know come up with all those you know bs you know i think he's someone that can do something like that you know so he does a lot of bs like this you know and this is exactly what you know jake actually loves you know they want to see all these miracles and all this magic all these stuffs you know but this is the book of um job and you know one thing i wanted to point out is you know after his death people are now really praising him like a prophet you know people are actually are really praising him in nigeria all over africa they're praising him and they seem like a real prophet you know they be like he predicted his own death he did this he saved a lot of people he helped people he did a lot of um, miracles you know people are really just carried away by you know 
all the BS, you know. So, anyway, let's bring out some scripture here. This is the book of um, Job, chapter 4, verse 9. I'll start from verse 7. No, 7 is actually the real point. It says, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished, being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off. Okay? So, if truly this man is dead, it's the most high that actually took his life for the wickedness, you know. Because we know the true name of the Most High is Yahweh, and the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai. And whosoever teaches anything otherwise, you know, is coming with a different doctrine and could be destroyed by the Most High, cut off, you know. As we know, sin is actually going against the commandments and the laws and statutes, you know. And the wages of sin is death, okay. Let's bring up another quick one. Book of Proverb 28. Because, you know, Jake is carried away. They don't understand judgment, you know. This is the book of Proverb, chapter 28, verse 5. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord Yahweh understand all things. You know, so we know if truly this man is dead, we know truly by the spirit that it's the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that took his life, you know, for all his iniquities, for all his sins and all these, you know, all these fuckery he's been doing all this while, you know, his fake miracles and all this, you know, and there are lots of, you know, um, there are lots of um, allegations on him, you know, for molestation, for... For, for, for different things, you know, but, you know, he being in the position of, you know, this worldly power or something like that, you know, he always, you know, gets a free pass and never faces judgment. So probably now the Most High Yehovah Hashem Shai has given him judgment, you know, the Most High gives life and it takes life. It's all done by the Most High. Okay, let's share one more scripture. I just wanted to make this video really short, you know. It's just a thought on. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 8, verse 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it's be, it is because there is no light in them. Okay? So if they don't, if any of these people, so called prophets or so called teachers or whatever, you know, pastors and all these people, whatever they call them, if they don't teach according to this truth, which is the name, the true names of the most and the true breakdowns of the Bible, which this 100% breakdowns are found only in Great Millstone. And as the years are passing, we are seeing it clearly, you know, many other camps are, you know, they're bugging out, they're coming out with, you know, some really funny and weird you know, breakdowns of the scriptures, you know, many don't even use the name of the Most High, Yehovah Hashem Yahushai, which this is just a first step, you know, whoever, whoever teaches this truth without, you know, using the real names of the Most High, which is Yahweh and his son, Yehovah Shai, you know, they are not speaking according to the words, you know, and there is no light in them, you know, so unto those who are really believing that this man was a real prophet of God in which the word prophet is someone that speaks before, you know, someone that says things before they happen. And this man came up with lots of prophecies that, you know, never even came, came to pass, you know, in which the real prophecies, according to the scriptures, you know, all things that will happen are already written in the scripture, you know. So whoever teaches without the true names of the Most High and not the real breakdowns like our elders and apostles do here in Great Millstone, they don't have the truth. They don't have the light in them, you know. So this man, it's very, very possible if he's dead, then it's the Most High, Yehovah Hashem, Yehovah Shai that took his life. So to so all these 
you know jakes all the sons of israel in nigeria you better wake up and stop following all these false prophets you know stop following them they're just mere men like you you know and they're not teaching you the right truth you know it's not the time to follow after all these you know all these fake prophets you know now they are actually you know praising him like a sort of messiah or something you know so you guys better come out of all this you know stupidity because it's not the time right now son of the most high how shy is on his way back and it's very very close and it's coming this time to destroy so in order to avoid being destroyed you know come out from all these philosophies you know and embrace the truth which is found only in the great millstone gms you know so having said this i hope this lesson is edifying and i would like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem ruka kodash my double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone gms who taught me this truth which is the 100 percent truth peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth shalom